This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Buds. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Chris. That's right, you have a boy. And you're a mom now. What's that? That's not fair. Life's not fair, man. I mean mom. Welcome to Fish Tank Review episode 94? Is it 94? How many of these? How is there that many bad fish tanks? Can can people just stop? I wonder how many more. All right, we're gonna keep going. This is this is the FFT promise, okay? We're gonna keep making fish tank reviews until there is not one left. If there's still one person doing this crap, this series keeps going. We're approaching 100 episodes of this series. I'm very thankful for those of you who have been watching this and enjoying it because without that, the series wouldn't have all this episode. Wouldn't have this many episodes. How to English. English was my second language at one point, so don't berate me for it, homies. Without further ado, Fish tank review. See, I don't want to clap in between that because it rhymes. It flows so nicely. Fish tank re review. Uh, make sure to check out the cool aquarium co-op merch at aquariumcoop.com. They got amazing everything up there. They got fish, plants, easy green. Yeah. Make sure to check out my own merch because why not? Let's rescape Joji's jar. It's blue because you got medication in it. Why is it that blue? Is it on permanent meds? Okay, so you got all these nice plants. You got buse. Okay, so, all right. You're using all these plants, all right? That's a, that's a lot of plants for a mason jar. I know it's technically not a mason jar, but it's pretty much the size of a mason jar. Results, next video. I'm really hoping it's not, it's just a dead belly up fish. I hope this is all a prank. This guy's actually making it an enclosed ecosphere without the betta, and the betta goes in a nice 10 gallon planted tank. That moss, by the way, doesn't look aquatic. It looks 100% terrestrial. Man, Busa Philandra, for what? For this? Come on. That would make a pretty nice ecosphere, not gonna lie. Why you gotta ruin it with a betta fish? Are you gonna close the lid on it? A betta fish <laughs> enclosed ecosphere? What? Your betta survived 2020. Will it survive 2021? Probably not if it's gonna live in this. You guys, before we continue, just a quick plug for Patreon. It's by far the best way to support this channel. And if you have been considering at all, then please check it out. You'll get some channel perks. Every single cent I get from Patreon goes into the channel budget. So right back to pumping out more projects and videos for you guys. Patreon team of FFT is the pillar that holds the Cory gang together and provides so much continuous support to keep this community flourishing. My dude, that fish is about to die. When a fish is lying flat on the ground like that, it's about to die. They look skinny AF. I'm willing to bet this owner don't even have any fish food around. It's gonna die anyways, feeding it or not. Actually, it will probably live longer if you don't feed it because it's not gonna be pooping out all the poison that is going to give itself ammonia poisoning. It's an excellent product, but bit too small. Just a bit, right? Just a bit too small. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? What are you doing, Chris? Are you joining the dark side? Are you joining the fish abuse side? No, I'm just, I'm just being sarcastic because I'm dead inside. Wait, hold up. So how is this an excellent product then? It's an excellent product, except it sucks. And E sent in their fish tank on Petscord, an assorted cichlid tank with a red tail shark. Looks like a good amount of cichlids to keep the aggression low. You always want to stock the tank with enough cichlids so that they can spread out aggression, especially if there's no hiding spots offered to them. The red tail shark actually might do okay in this tank. It looks pretty fat. It looks pretty healthy. I uh, just hope it's not bullying the smaller cichlids actually. We're gonna go with a three out of five. Keep it up. Keep up the maintenance. Very pink. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh, that is brighter than my future. No. Holy cow. Sh someone shut it down. Shut it down. Okay. Why can't my future be like this? Nice and pink and bright. Chris, stop going off topic. Address the issue. The problem here is that I can't, I can't take this one seriously, guys. Come on. Who, who's gonna take that seriously? Let's just move on. This tank is sent in by R no, but I want to be saying R yes because look at that scape. Iwagumi inspired. There's like layers to this, okay? Clean, clean scape. Just take out the thermometer before you take a picture though. And it's a species tank of betta fish, a single betta fish. You know what? This is getting my five out of five. For me, the rock placement is perfect. The carpet is vibrant, healthy, and the background plants have levels to them. One single betta fish, are you kidding me? It doesn't get better than this, boys. Five out of five, keep it up. R yay. <laughs> Listen to this clown loach. I grow to 1.5 feet in length and live for 20 years. Don't suggest me to fix a snail problem. <laughs> truth, word, truth, no cap. I don't know what no cap means. 
What is even no cap? Don't put a cap on it? Like go off? Is that sort of the sentiment? What is no cap? What is, does it stand for something? Where did it come from? I'm, I'm so boomer right now. No cap. I'm so boomer. No cap. <laughs> yeah, might I suggest yo-yo loaches? for a snow problem. They stay relatively small compared to the clown loach. Okay, the best way to fix a snow problem is not to get any fish, it's to feed your fish tank properly and strike a balance so that there's not excess food, nor is there a lot of algae to graze on. Starve them to death, that's how you fix a pest snow problem. My gravel back. My fish, here it comes. I beg to differ. Most of my fish are like attracted to the gravel vac, probably because there's some activity in the tank, especially my betta fish. She loves when I gravel vac because she thinks I'm feeding her. These fish, man, they gotta get, they gotta get over themselves. They always think we're, we're trying to feed them. We're not. You already ate, buddy, like two minutes ago. Why are you, why are you trying to get more food? Do some exercise. Ever heard of jogging? Better than rotting in a cup. Yeah, not that much better. Hey, to be fair, okay, that I feel like that is significantly better than rotting in a cup. That compared to a cup is night and day for the betta fish. This is not enough. I don't see a filter. It's still in a bowl and it's probably not even five gallons. I will say that's like two gallons, but compared to a cup, they've got a point. And it looks like it's clean. It looks like the owner is ready to, you know, do some serious maintenance on this and make sure the betta fish is healthy. Perhaps the next step is to get it into a proper fish tank found in a Dutch online marketplace. What do you mean? Dutch online market? Are you serious? But you, you guys, you guys invented the Dutch style of aquascaping? I can't believe you've done this. Why have you done this? I can't believe how crap my accent is. Why? Tell me why. <laughs> Did I just go Australian? By the way, Dutch people don't have that sort of accent, do they? What do Dutch people sound like in English? It, it just goes to show you can't generalize a people group. It's never a good thing to do. It's just not true. Look, Dutch people are some of the best aquascapers in the world, but one dude who identifies as Dutch puts shame on their whole family. Sir, I'm not even Dutch, but I hereby take your Dutch citizenship because you what? of what you've done. And although I'm not Dutch, I'm sure everyone who is Dutch watching this is gonna agree with me. Sorry, bro, you're not Dutch anymore. The only Dutch thing about you is sometimes you eat chips from old Dutch. From the new WandaVision intro. Come on, Marvel. Okay, I've been hearing about WandaVision and I'm probably gonna watch it sometime, but why in the world, what does the fish tank have to do with Wanda or Vision or Marvel? It feels like there's just every single excuse to put a goldfish into a bowl and they're just running with it. The bonus secret comment of this video is Flame Tetra. FFT meme lol. That means laugh out loud, you boomers. Fish keeping starter pack. Fierce. Gravel. Casually overstocked. Just casually. I would say that's that's not casual anymore. High tech tank. Oh. <laughs> I actually kissed myself. <laughs> Kinda weird. TikTok memes. Keeping male bettas together. Le sophisticated decor. La meilleure sophistication en français. Oui, oui, madame, voulez-vous aquascape avec moi ce soir? This tank is sent in by Sebastian Hendricks on Petscord. The first thing that I notice is this uh, grainy sort of cloudy-ishness that I do recognize. And let me tell you what it is or what I think it is. It's a combination of your Oko stones with that filter. Either you didn't uh, wash your Oko stones well enough, which in this case, when you don't have proper water movement, you need to wash it for a very long time because Ocostone are considered very chalky. Putting them in a fish tank without proper filtration or adequate filtration is going to make your fish tank look a little bit chalky itself. Now I used to run with those small filters um, that come with the tank as a kit, but nowadays I really dislike them because their output, it's almost like you don't have a filter. It's just a tiny bit better than not having a filter. And that's not enough. Not gonna rate this tank, but looking forward to your improvements in the future. Person was bragging about their aesthetic new beta. It does does look like a pretty betta fish. Too bad it's in a vase with the circumference of a quarter. How did you find something that would fit it so snug from head to tail? To what degree of under-researched do you have to achieve? My local feeder supply who refuses to remove moss balls despite the spread of zebra mussels. Now zebra mussels, if you guys haven't heard, is like this kind of new sort of thing that's come around where they are getting into these moss balls. I'm not sure if they're technically uh, officially Marimo moss balls or some off-brand moss ball, but they've been hiding out and infesting these moss balls. And these zebra mussels are actually very devastating to natural habitats. They are very invasive species of mussels. They're gonna do a ton of damage 
to the native wildlife. What we want to do is find these muscles, make sure every individual moss ball is checked over and th they can be really small when they're uh, growing infant stage. Make sure to do like a few checkovers and make sure to check them over time so that you didn't miss any babies that start growing and make sure they don't end up in the waterways. You have to do some euthanization, but hey, if that's the price we have to pay to save our salmon habitat, our important natural habitats, so be it. Make sure to spread the word to anyone you know who has a Marimo moss ball or any sort of moss ball. Taya sent in this fish tank on Petscord, a shrimp and endler tank, in a very, very clean scape. This is a sort of island-esque scape. It's got nice java ferns, perhaps some bues or crips in the front, and some pogo. That's some very healthy looking pogo. And a clean woodscape. I mean, you had my heart with endlers and shrimp. Double species tank with the best two species that could fit in this tank. Five out of five, keep it up there. Pet score submission by Tyler Race. First, I just noticed the overall orange hue of this tank. It seems like if there's brown algae that took over everything or by chance just most things are orange or brown in color. Not sure I like that aesthetic personally. It does look like it needs some maintenance and it does look like the cause of all this brown algae is that it's overstocked and probably being overfed. Keep it on a timer, start with eight hours a day, decrease it as you see fit. Overstocking aside, I think the combination of fish is okay. It seems like the Beta is not stressed, and as long as the dither fish and the guppies aren't bothering it and it's not bothering them, it's fine. Beta do like some company. The scape itself does have a lot of potential, but like I said, it needs a lot of maintenance. 3.4 out of 5, keep it up. Customizable tank, and whoever said fish need oxygen was clearly crazy. Wait, 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 forget all that. I mean, look at how much food there is. There's enough food in there to feed 10 times the amount of fish that's in there. And it looks like most of the food is too big for their mouths. This one's struggling to actually eat it. In a tank this small, overstocked with this many fish, uh, forget about the last tank we just reviewed. This tank is the true overfeeding. I swear, two more sessions, maybe one more session of this, all these fish are gonna die in here. Ammonia levels are gonna soar like no tomorrow. What a depressing place to end this week's video, but thank you guys for tuning in until the end. Welcome to the end of the video. I appreciate the support you show every single video, watching till the end, pushing for that algorithm, and I I hope this week's FTR started your Monday off just right. The secret comment of this video is Rummy Nose Tetra. Don't forget to look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal act, clear my fin rod from Carisiformes to Peretrorodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.